Hey, before we get started here, just a quick note to remind all of you Expert Zone members out there that we currently have an October Surface sweepstakes going on. Yeah, so that means all you need to do is complete the new Surface accreditation on Expert Zone by October 31st, and you'll be entered for a chance to win a Surface Studio 2, a Surface Duo, or one of $250 Visa gift cards. So yeah, head over to expertzone.microsoft.com. Be sure you get yourself employment verified and look for the Surface accreditation. Okay, now onto the show. Hello and welcome to the Microsoft Megabyte. I'm your host, Brian Gavados, and today I'm thrilled to talk about one of the most genuinely exciting product launches I've seen in all my years working with Microsoft, the Surface Laptop Studio. Okay, so to help us get a grasp on this incredible new entry to the Surface family, I'm joined by none other than Senior Product Marketing Manager, Sydney Dowdle. Now, how did I do on that last name, Sydney? Well, you had the correct. Yes. <laughs> So, Sydney, uh, you have, I'm sure, been living and breathing Surface Laptop Studio for quite some time now. So hello to you and thanks so much for giving us your time to cover off on this device. Well, thanks for having me. I'm so excited to be here. This is not just a, another incremental update to an existing product. This is always an exciting time to talk about products because we have to now sort of wrap our minds around what the customer experience is for something of this form factor. What does it mean for different use case scenarios? Who Who is this device intended for? And what are some of the things under the cover that we might not know if I'm out there in different stores selling, representing, and demoing these kind of devices? Mm -hmm. Surface Laptop Studio really re represents something fundamentally different, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, so first of all, I am very fortunate to be the product marketing manager for this device. I have been using this device actually as my personal driver over the past few months, along with our engineering team. Mm -hmm. um, it is really an amazing device. And I, I just cannot wait to share every detail about it mm -hmm. with all of you today. I know it's always difficult, especially when you've been living and breathing this kind of thing for months and months. But if you had to... What would be sort of the top two to three things you want to be sure that everyone who walks into a retail store or talks to a, a, a Microsoft representative at some capacity and asks them about Service Laptop Studio? What are the two or three things that you need everyone to know about this device? I would say... The number one thing is the new experiences that we are bringing with this new form factor. When the engineering team set out to design this new laptop studio, they were inspired actually by our customer. We learned so much from our most demanding and innovative customers, such as Creative Pro, developers, in engineers, yeah, um, we learned that they really want a powerful device to create, to consume the content, and to gain on in the way that they want. So, um, Surface Laptop Studio really uh, offer you so many different new experiences. Right, you can start with our traditional laptop form factor, and then you can pull the screen forward, create this perfect viewing angle that cover the keyboard. We call this stage mode, which give your customer a stage to watch video, to review presentations, or even pick up an Xbox controller and to gain mind. Um, I, yeah. I see this as a very clutter-free experience because you can really focus on the content and then bring the screen to you closer to you. And when you Bring the screen even further forward. This create a really, really nice digital canvas that you can actually take notes, you can scribble on. Um, we also create a pen storage to make sure that you always have a pen that is ready for you. Um, it is a very nice and seamless experience. So I would say this is the number one thing you should definitely mm. demo to your customer because there are so many different things you can do in, in each mode. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you're highlighting three distinct experiences there, it sounds like. Um, it must be a very powerful 
very capable laptop to be used as a laptop with keyboard and trackpad. And, and I'm thinking about my life where it would be like, you know, developing a PowerPoint presentation or something. I'm using my laptop. But then you're saying there's stage mode, which then takes away all the distractions and lets me just focus in on perhaps reviewing the PowerPoint and clicking through it and and watching my slides go by. And then you're saying there's a third use case, which is sort of that canvas mode where if I wanted to ink on my slides or with the digital pen, with the Surface Slim Pen, or pass it along over to someone else for them to review it in a sort of that tablet form factor, which is that canvas mode. These are three distinct experiences that I'm sure not every customer is going to be aware of until they're shown it. Is that right? That's correct. So I think it's really important to introduce the mode with the experience because that's how you can help your customer to realize, oh, these are the things I could do with these modes. Um, so that's definitely number one thing I would love you to, to share with your customer. And the second thing uh, I want to share is the performance. This is the most powerful device we ever built today. Wow. It's Best. <laughs> yeah. It comes with the latest 11 gen Intel Core H35 processor. It is the first time we're bringing H series processor into the Surface mm-hmm. portfolio. Um, it also comes with NVIDIA discrete graphic card options. So mm-hmm. the combination of the processor and CPU really enable your customer to do their work fast at top speed. So I think that's that's the thing I really want, want to highlight to the customer is that that it comes with incredible performance. If I may, um, I I do have one thing I want to share, but... Oh yeah, no, feel free. So uh, the last thing I want to share is the display. It's our Surface Pixel Send touch display with 120 hertz refresh rate out of the box. Um, And what I really mean is that you get smoother scrolling, great note taking and drawing experience with the Surface Sling Pen 2. And personally, the display helped me so much as today <laughs> I spent so much time in front of my device. Yeah. The smooth, yeah. smoother looking display just makes a huge difference for me since I, I use this device as my Yeah, that's really driver. hard to uh, convey, especially over a podcast, isn't it? But tell me about that. Is it just sort of a, a visceral, a sense of smoothness? I, I know it sounds silly, but I always see it described as like, it's just like, it's just buttery smooth compared to slower refresh rate. So, but you're saying you can really tell immediately when you're using something like the laptop studio that has that higher refresh rate that you're even able to tell just doing normal day-to-day activities on it? Yeah, definitely. When there's any any motion relate to my task, that's where you can really see the differences. For example, when you scroll through the web page, you can really see that uh, with the 120 hertz refresh rate, it's just so seamless and smooth. And that's where we see that every day, right? Like you use your cursor, you sc- scroll through the web page. So that's really help. that really helped my eyes. Okay. And you mentioned earlier, you know, grabbing an Xbox controller and making use of some games. And with the kind of power you're talking about, with the kind of graphics o- options that you're saying is available, I'm assuming that 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 increased refresh rate also means something pretty substantial to gamers or even game developers. Exactly. So actually higher refresh rate display are a very common feature for the gaming laptop. So bring this to the Surface family. I, I'm hoping that gamers are excited about this feature and about this device because this is a device you can really game on. Well, you know, and it's not just gamers, is it? I mean, it is. But like I, I think about myself and I'm certainly over the last 10 years, you know, having a family and 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 working and everything. I, I don't consider myself a gamer anymore. Ne- nevertheless, if my device is capable of it, boy, that would be so nice to be able to transition, unplug it from a from my dock and from my external displays and know that I can go and lay in bed or sit on the couch and play some of these like platinum titles available on Xbox Game Pass Ultimate and and know that I have the performance to take advantage of to make those games actually really perform well. Exactly. That's why I always say that this device is built for the weekend gamer. In terms of any other specs that are worth calling out, I mean, are, is there anything that that we need to know about, you know, ports or accessories that you think are really critical to get the word out about? Yeah, definitely. 
Um, I think the number one accessory I would recommend to pair with Laptop Studio is definitely the new Surface Slim Pen 2. The Slim Pen 2 is really sleek and comfortable. Um, it is also our best performing pen. Uh, the pen tip is sharper compared to its predecessor, so it's more accurate. What I like about uh, the most is the writing feel very natural to me yeah. and it's also powered by the 120 hertz refresh rate again and i can erase and edit my note on the fly like i would normally write with a traditional pencil you just flip and erase it so i highly recommend trying laptop studio with slim pen 2 and surface laptop studio also come with a pen storage that's one one delighter that i really love about this device so essentially you have the pen always ready always charged it's there when you need it and it really make a difference for me um, right now i write and take notes mm -hmm. more frequently on my devices um, in the past, I always have a notebook with me to jot down my to-do list, to to take uh, notes from for my meetings. And right now, I take notes um, on my device on the Microsoft Journal app. In case you haven't tried it, try go try it. It's what? Awesome. Wait a minute. Definitely. Okay, okay. Microsoft <laughs> Journal app. I really am writing this down. I've I've not tried it. Yeah, you can download it free from the Microsoft Store. It's amazing app. So you can you can take meeting notes and you can search keywords on it. Yeah. It's super smart. I love it. And you can experience the natural uh, feel inking um, on journal app as well. So it really makes a difference to have the pen readily available to you. Um, so it really changed the way I see um, the interaction with pen and the device. Yeah, absolutely. And the importance of pen. I think, I think removing all the barriers to entry for getting access to the pen. I know I have a Surface Book 3 and I, I do like to use inking on like even the occasional Outlook email when I'm trying to draw attention to something and when we're replying to an email or marking up a quick document or something. And, and yes, uh, from time to time, I'll notice the pen can, you know, get lost in my bag or something or my backpack. And it's nice knowing that the pen is always accessible to me with something like the laptop studio. That is really exciting to me. Okay, so then when thinking about who Laptop Studio is designed for, I'm sure everyone would love some insights into its development. Like, who is this product designed for? Obviously, it's perfect for the time in history that we find ourselves, but I'm just wondering the kind of use case scenarios. Um, and I'm asking this, Sydney, because so often in the field teams and, and at retail, we get marketing materials that's just like, you know, architects and and high fashion designers and stuff, which is like, yeah, great, that's cool. But it's, it's not quite as daily relevant to the majority of the kind of customers that we're interacting with. So I'm just curious if you have any ideas or any insights into who I almost I almost called it by I almost called the device by its code name because it's still stuck in my head. Who Surface Laptop Studio has been designed for? Sure. So we build Laptop Studio for anyone looking for a bold and powerful device that help them accomplish their work and express their creativity. Um, power users such as the creative professional, um, I also mentioned developer earlier, producer, and even students in these specializations, sure, right? Yeah. They are getting into learning about engineering, learning about coding. This is a great device for them to to have because they can do their homework and then take notes uh, in the studio mode. So it's super versatile, adapt to the way that they want to learn and work. And then, and play, a, and then play a little Xbox on the side after exactly. they're done. <laughs> I was just going to say, and we build a device for the weekend gamer. Yeah. Uh, I believe everyone is the gamer. It just, there's a spectrum of how you game, right? Yes. So I think we're building for these people and I really hope these customer experience excited about what we have to offer here.
So, Sydney, you mentioned earlier about, you know, how some of these innovations and decisions are really brought about by information, intelligence, really, from usage from how customers are using uh, members of the Surface family. And I'm sure there are some instances where there's unanticipated data that comes back about like, oh, that's a surprise. We didn't know customers were using it that way or what have you. I'm just curious. I know I'm putting you on the spot, but are there any of those? um, Is there any of that kind of information that you could share out just so that the greater team has an idea of how those kinds of development decisions are made? That's a really great question. I want to answer your question by talking about the customer learning that we got from Surface Book. Okay. Surface Book Studio is the successor of the Surface Book line. I, I believe you already know that. Book is a wonderful device and it is loved by so many our customer. I and even I used it as the daily driver before Laptop Studio. Mm-hmm. Um, it has been in the market for several years. So we have been actively listening to what our customer have to say about the device. We listen to the book user, how they feel about the device, how they feel about the design, and what would they like to see as an evolution. So um, we heard that they love the power. So they want their next device to be equally powerful. And they want to access the power no matter what modes they're working on. Right. And that kind of become our design principle. We want all tasks to be equal so that the hardware could help you achieve, help your customer achieve what they want to do, no matter how they work. So I see Laptop Studio really is the evolution and reflection of the customer feedback that we receive uh, for Surface Book. And we also want to make sure that the hardware just fading to the background so our customer can transition from one text to another seamlessly. And nowadays, we embrace the hybrid workplace. We really rely on PC so much to, to get connected, to get things done. So I'm hoping that the customer are excited about the changes and updates that we're bringing with, Sur- with Surface Laptop Studio. That is actually very insightful and we really appreciate it because um, it's actually a very powerful selling tool to be armed with that kind of almost background philosophy so that when customers come in and, and ask, well, how come this has changed or or why, why, did, why did you make that kind of decision? And of course, they're always thinking that the person selling the device to them is the person who personally developed it. But that's a whole other story. Um, so this <laughs> is really, really helpful to hear the why behind these decisions. And um, I, for one, am just so, so excited about I, I know it's not good to pick favorites, but oh, my gosh, I, I am so excited to get my hands on Laptop Studio just to experience it because it is such a new, a new, new member of the Surface family. And um, Sydney, we just really, really appreciate your time here. And I know that I know that everyone out there in the field is super excited to demo it and sell it and uh, see how the customer reactions are going to be. So thanks so much for the insights. Thank you so much for having me today. And please keep the feedback coming. Um, as I mentioned, like customer feedback is really the center of the innovation and it's our design principle. So the more you could share back with us, the better. You're not the first person to have said that, Sydney. And I just want to remind everyone out there of the major, major decisions that have been made and a huge impact that's been had from the real world customer feedback that you send up. So yes, to echo that, keep it coming. Thank you, Sydney. Thank you so much. This has been the Microsoft Megabyte Podcast, a training tool for Microsoft field team members and sales professionals across the country, produced by Microsoft employees. 